I gotta try to not move around in my chair a lot because my chair be squeaking. Yeah, dude. Like, 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 just, just. Like, yo, this chair is insane. I guess I'm just gonna lean back all video. You got this. Do the lean back. Yeah. And lean back. <laughs> lean back. Lean. Nah. <laughs> Hello. And welcome. Gamers. Memers. YouTubers. And streamers. To the to JK the Dream, Dream Team. Dream team. Where, Where all your dreams will become a reality. Oh, I mean, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> reality true, let's go. <laughs> Bro, we're here to make dreams come true. Stop playing. You know, Quick reality love check. <laughs> We need that. We need that energy right now, right? Yeah, we got it here. We got it here, uh, right here on T Joy. Yeah, man. Speaking of reality, we got this video today that uh that shows alternate reality. Potentially, or <laughs> a reality that uh I don't know about you, but I think any any anime reality I kind of want, you know. I don't know, man. It's a little suspicious, you know. It's it's kind of it's kind of like when we were kids, you know. We were like, man, medieval sounds so cool, right? Running around, chopping people up, right, with the big swords and all that. But then when you really think about how warfare goes, like, mm, that's not that's not a good idea. I I mean, yeah, like I kind of feel the same about anime, you know. Like like you, like yo, have you seen uh um one of those pictures where like they have realistic looking Pokemon? No, I actually have not. Actually yeah. have not. You gotta, yeah. gotta check that out sometime. Yeah. But this reality, this is a different anime. Yes. See, we have Scarlet Nexus. Now, yep. I actually watched the Scarlet Nexus on the Xbox Showcase. And okay. I gotta say that it act like it was definitely something that caught me by surprise see especially okay, on an okay. xbox keynote of all things see um this is a bandai namco game and xbox i'm i'm full blood <laughs> xbox but 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 as a, me growing up as xbox i actually mm. wasn't introduced to the jrpgs mm. see i got introduced to jrpgs way later see so, yeah. well, so Sony definitely had a handle on that that's that's a fair that's a fair statement right there so so seeing xbox see being able to announce a jrpg was especially a bandai namco a jrpg at that that's a big see, name. Uh, so we're about to see what our thoughts about on this story trailer let's, let's check it out get it. Get into it in the far distant future a psionic hormone was discovered in the human brain, granting people extrasensory powers and changing the world as we knew it. As humanity entered this new era, deranged mutants known as Others began to descend from the sky with a hunger for human brains. Highly resistant to conventional attack methods, extreme measures needed to be taken to battle the overwhelming threat and preserve humanity. Those with acute extrasensory abilities, known as psionics, were our only chance to fight the onslaught from above. Since then, psionics have been scouted for their talents and recruited to the Other Suppression Force, also known as the OSF, humanity's last line of defense. The most powerful and popular members are viewed as heroes, the Scarlet Guardians. Begin your adventure with either Yuito Sumuragi, an energetic recruit from a prestigious political family, or Kasane Randall, the mysterious Obviously. scout whose power and skill has gained Obviously, great you know notoriety among the play. OSF. <laughs> As their different yeah. experiences interweave with Obviously. each other, Obviously. it is only then that you will reveal the full story the and unlock shit, all know? the mysteries of a brain punk future caught between technology and psychic abilities. Welcome to the world of Scarlet Nexus. All Looks habitants share a connection 
Their brains are linked to Cynet, a huge network that bonds everyone and everything together for <laughs> the good of its residents. <laughs> for the good In of, good of Nexus, its residents. <laughs> you will become yep. members of the other suppression force, OSF, that are tasked with using their powerful psionic abilities to protect humanity. As a member of the OSF, you will have to patrol around the capital in places such as the old OSF hospital, a hospital formerly operating on the outskirts of Suo. It was abandoned after a large-scale assault by others and has since been moved to a location inside the capital. And the famed Kikuchiba, a defunct mercantile satellite town of the Suo capital. The entire place is divided into a layered structure and a malfunctioning projector shines a massive vision over the sky, making for an uncanny view. On all of your patrols, you will encounter others. Deranged mutants that descended from the sky, highly resistant to conventional attack methods and defenses. Tormented by constant pain, they seek brains of living organisms to calm their madness. They rain down on Earth, from a fog-like phenomenon known as the Extinction Belt, high up in the sky. Thankfully, with the advancement of technology, humanity has come up with measures to predict when they will fall, and as such, avoid most casualties. However, do not engage if you ever find yourself in front of the Court Mort, the most massive recorded other sighting in history. Please do not engage. Featuring a dual story, Scarlet Nexus allows you to play as Yuito, a bright and optimistic young recruit who has a strong yet kind soul. He is the second son of the prestigious Sumeragi family, whose ancestors were the founding fathers of New Himuka. He comes from a family of politicians, with his father Joe leading the current government and his brother Kato commanding the other suppression force. He fights close quarters with the combination like of quick sword attacks and psychokinesis abilities. For like Kasane, cool, rational, JPR, and indifferent to those guy, around her, yep. Kasane Next is an elite everywhere. soldier like, who graduated Eisen, top of her class you know. after being scouted by the OSF for her exceptional fighting skills and power. She tends to be unapproachable and causes friction with those around her. But she can also be very kind to those she has opened up to. She fights at range with a combination of ranged, multi-blade attacks and psychokinesis abilities. They are both able to use psychokinesis, the ability to move objects freely by using their minds. Hanabi and her pyrokinesis will be Yuiko's first ally, and Shiden and his electrokinesis, Kasane's. Throughout their adventures, they will be able to fight alongside Arashi and her hypervelocity, Kagero and his invisibility, Kyoka and her duplication, Sugumi and her clairvoyance, Luka and his teleportation, and finally Gemma and his sclerokinesis. Sinet's hyperconnectivity to all your party will allow you to protect New Himuka and humanity. And pre-order bonuses. Well, that was, that was a lot of information. Indeed it was. Indeed it um, was. If you guys want to check out the full video, it will actually be in the description below. So, feelings. Um, <clears throat> I think the setting is kind of interesting. Uh, I'm getting the kind of generic JRPG vibes from a lot from a lot of it, but you know, whether, whether it be the characters, their backgrounds, very, very, very tropish. But but that aside though, I mean, like the concept is definitely different, you know? Um, I like, like I said, the design of the, the cities and stuff like this, it kind of gives that like, you know, dystopian feel, you know, right? Where like there's a central society control. I am quite curious at the story because I feel like there's definitely going to be like some background um, 
not to not oh. to be predicting it or throwing spoilers out in the beginning, but some background it just screams background so, human play and manipulation so, of the so, brain network. Uh, like it, 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 so like it has to happen, right? one of the top ten anime betrayals. Yo oh, yeah, yo oh, yeah. The top ten anime betrayals coming. You know, most likely that 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 uh his his brother. Oh yeah, you know you know he about to do something. That's that's the that's the resident. <laughs> the resident anime betray right there, you yep. know? So you could expect it from him, bro. He he definitely about to do some stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, ultimately, I think uh, that there's definitely going to be some kind of network manipulation. I mean, the fact that everybody's connected is a, is a scary thought in itself, like some kind of high network. I think it's cool that they're allowing you to use everybody's power. So it looks like you don't really have to run around controlling everybody, but you can kind of just like utilize what they have available, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be, as far as I know, there's been no indication of multiplayer, so it's pretty much going to be a single player game, unlike some of the other similar games that came out, um, which I'm having a small brain fart, but, uh, but like, um, yeah, like I said, ultimately, I think it looks, it looks promising aside from the generic JRPG stuff. What about, what about you? What you think? Um, so... So this game, oof, let, let, let me, give me one sec, it gave, it gave me an idea. Ah, I was thinking about games like, uh, um, Cold Vein. Cold Vein or like Astro Chain or something like this. Okay. If you guys know it, leave it in the comments. But this game right here, Astral Chain. So it's kind of giving me an Astral Chain feel, at least when it comes to the story setting, where okay. it's in this sort of uh, fu futuristic um, um, setting where this unknown alien or whatever race comes from basically nowhere and humanity has to figure out uh how to do their last stand against against that um but but this one seems to be a lot more on the darker side than uh astral chain chain would which really loved astral chain uh if you guys haven't tried it this is another another good jrpg to play um on the switch but um story story wise is so, so so they're giving us two characters um that you can play as either mm -hmm. um yamato or oh here's here's the other name uh yeah, what's, up? what's the girl's name kasane kasane, kasane. randall yeah. so so you get to play as anime protagonist one or two and i'm hoping that like especially especially seeing that it's a 60 dollar game um mm -hmm. and this is in in with combat wise this game is trying to do a, a lot more like they're actually giving you the ability to use items from the background um to mm -hmm. actually fight and stuff like that I can I'm use your second pieces i'm hoping that the story is actually different between the between the two characters because like they kind of give you that where like where like this character his brother like like now you get to know m more about this brother but like is that brother going to take part on the chick story which she seems to be like a whole totally different character i see so so I, I i would love to see if it's like two different stories you get a play you can play in and see how um like the, the, di like the um differences between the two characters i'm not like, i'm hoping it isn't like you want to play the dude because you miss out on a lot of the story because you played him and, and because you played the chick and not him. Mm. That is one thing I'm hoping for this game. It'll kind of be a letdown if it's just the same story and they just replaced the he part with she. Okay. But um, love the setting. I'm always about that futuristic sci see, cyber cyberpunk-ish world. Hey man, brain punk, bro. Don't well, call brain, it cyberpunk. Brain don't dis punk -ish don't disrespect world. the new genre, bro. Don't disrespect the new genre. <laughs> you know, we got brains connected now. We hive mind now, bro. Yeah. Brain punk. But, you know, I see, yeah. this, this is what I'm talking about. 
we got we got to get these psychic powers here in real life and then we can get stuff like this <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> i'm gonna touch on that story thing a little bit just i want to make a small comment and i'm just gonna say based off of what i've been seeing which again like i said gives me like a little bit of the generic feel although i i, I do want to see what the story actually has available you know um I'm going to argue that most likely my expectations is that it will be a generic cookie cutter kind of time like storyline, which both characters will fit in. Um, generally speaking, just from personal experience, RPGs don't have uh, what you call it, very high replay value, JRPGs in general, you know, unless you're going to like uh, have like a extra difficulty or something like this. So usually the stories are very cookie cutter. I'm, I'm really expecting something very similar to the most, one of the bigger ones we got recently, like say Cyberpunk, where you even though that's not a JRPG, um, but where like, you know, basically no matter which of the factions you chose, the story was essentially the same, right? Mm. Um, so like, uh, not saying that they couldn't do something different. And I will say this, I will be very, very surprised and very, very excited. And it'll definitely get a mega thumbs up if they actually do what you suggested. Uh, cause that would definitely be a, a big pleasant surprise, but realistically speaking, I think that that's going to be the scenario, you know, um, that is just going to be like a kind of generic cookie cut where you see both sides of the story. Cause kind of like what you alluded to earlier, it would be a little odd or it could even be a little weird. Like if you didn't get to see the full story by playing say one character or the other, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so this is why I think like uh, most likely it will be just like a generic one that just fits both characters and they just slot them a little bit differently. Maybe some of the interactions might be a little different, but I think the overall arcing will be the same and kind of concurrent. But yeah, it looks good though. What do, you looks guys, dope. what do you guys think? Do you, th do you think I'm right or do you think this guy is, is wrong? Let us know down in the comment section. I like how you try to say it twice, though, right? <laughs> you think I'm right or he's wrong? Well, it's the same thing. Uh, this is okay. You know, it's okay. I don't have to. I don't have to make fancy, fancy statements like that because you know I'm right. So this is not even argument, right? It's not even. You know, you know what's gonna happen, bro. You knew what's gonna happen when you seen that pre-order. You already knew what it was gonna be, right? <laughs> seen that pre-order bonus, that limited edition. You already know what it's gonna be, baby. Uh, let no. us let us know no. it right here in our T Joy comments. Come on, Dream Team, let's you, you go. See, you see, Big Bro Eisen, you know what's gonna happen. <laughs> don't, don't front, don't front like you don't know generic 2.0 coming through. Nah, but real talk though, like I said, it does look it does look dope. Like the overall feel of it definitely looks real cool. Definitely let us know what you guys think in the comment section. You know, but uh, but I'm thinking this one's gonna be a banger, and um, hopefully the story can carry the load because the gameplay looks pretty pretty nice overall. So yeah, let us know in the comments below. For sure. And as yeah. always, thank you for watching. Yeah. Subscribe, <laughs> like. Most definitely. T Joy out. <laughs>